The Mirror reports that Prince Harry has a list of demands if he and Meghan Markle are to attend the King's coronation, which I find a little bit odd. But nonetheless, they are reported to the Mirror, presumably by a source and presumably a source that knows Prince Harry. Um, it may have come from the palace. It may not. I don't know. But some of the demands are reported to be completely reasonable and some of them are said to be spiralling too far. Now, make of these what you will, but let's go through them and talk about what they might mean. First of all, uh, Archie and Lilibet's roles are dubbed to be one of the demands, and despite being the grandchildren of the king, it's believed that they are not invited sources claiming that it's because they're very young which on the one hand might seem perfectly reasonable because very young children are not always invited to major events like this because of the risk of them um, being a little bit out of control on the other hand you might think it's perfectly reasonable that uh, harry and megan want them to be in attendance so this reportedly is one of their demands that they are there and that they have some sort of role and included within the ceremony. Not only that, one of the reported demands, you understand, I'd be interested as to where this came from and um, why these are being reported in the first place, but here we are. One of the others is a birthday celebration because this apparently will also be Archie's birthday, that being uh, May the 6th, the day of the coronation. And so one of the demands is that there is some mention of Archie's birthday, uh, birthday wishes, a happy birthday or something else. Now, Sky News Australia uh, reported on this as well, as well as some other news outlets reported on this, effectively saying this isn't a birthday party. This is the king's coronation. But one way or another, you may feel that it's perfectly reasonable that they ask for a birthday mention. And at the same time, some of you might think that that's ridiculous. Again, that's down to you. That's entirely subjective. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that's right? Do you think it's silly? What do you think? Um, another one reported in the mirror as a showdown. I'll link this uh, article in the description below. Another one listed as a showdown, essentially saying that um, he Prince Harry only wants to come if he's going to get a face to face with the king and uh, with William to discuss the issues and doesn't want it to be a toxic atmosphere. Now, of course, nobody wants a toxic atmosphere um, and most people do what they can to avoid a toxic atmosphere. And um, some things might cause a toxic atmosphere, you know, like publishing books and doing interviews and Netflix series um, with all sorts of details that would show your family in a bad light, that kind of thing. They might create a toxic atmosphere by way of example. But nonetheless, Harry um, wants this showdown as it's reported in the mirror um, with his family to discuss things. Another one is about the balcony. Now, of course, with official events, there's always a discussion as to who is to appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony. And of course, not being uh, working royals anymore, it wouldn't necessarily be automatically assumed that Harry and Meghan will be among those included on the balcony once the king has been crowned. Uh, nonetheless, this is reported to be uh, another one of those demands um, by the Mirror. Furthermore, another one about Frogmore Cottage. Now, you might remember a previous video that I did, and you've probably certainly heard about it, that they've been requested to vacate Frogmore Cottage. Um, largely, I presume, because they've given up their life here for the most part and moved to California. Uh, and so they were requested to vacate Frogmore Cottage. But despite that, uh, it's reported in the Mirror that despite being asked to leave Frogmore, they've been told that the property will be available for them to stay if they do attend the coronation. That's according to the Daily Mail. And again, you might feel that that's reasonable and you might feel that that's a demand too far. That's down to you. Another demand about security. Now, there's a, a big deal going on about security. In fact, there is a court case which uh, is uncertain to be heard by the time of the coronation where Prince Harry has been asking for um, armed police protection whenever he comes back to uh, United Kingdom. And in fact, he launched legal action against the Home Office 
um, for the Home Office refusal to grant this protection. And in July of 2022, the High Court ruled in favour of his attempt to bring part of this claim against the government. And it's believed that this uh, will be before the High Court in April. Um, but it isn't clear at this stage whether that will be decided by the time of the coronation. And nonetheless, that is one of the final uh, demands. So Harry's concerns over security, it's reported, which will not be helped. It is reported by the revelations about um, Taliban insurgents that he said that he had killed. And this may also be a factor in the case um, going to court against the Home Office. Now, quite clearly, uh, many other uh, military veterans have said, you just don't talk about those things. Uh, those things that happen at, at war stay at war and um, shouldn't be talking about those. So those quite clearly might have raised the security concerns and risks for both Harry and uh, his family members. So that doubtless uh, will be part of the argument. But elsewhere in the news, I read that it is likely that the king is going to accede to these wishes. Um, if he does, um, then I think that will be um, very reasonable and accommodating of him to try to smooth relations. But at the same time, I, I would certainly perfectly understand if some of them are not met, and so might you. Um, there are different views on this, of course. Uh, there is no right and wrong view. Uh, some of them have legal implications and some of them are purely subjective take on these demands. Let me know in the comments what you think. As I say, overall, I'd be very interested as to um, how these are reported in the first place. I very much doubt they came directly from the palace um, and more likely a source that just knows some of them, all of them, or, or, or it's been deliberately leaked. I don't know which. Either way, it's just reported as a source who is explaining all of this, which, to be fair to Harry, in some sense, may, if it isn't from his own source, if it isn't originating from Harry, uh, might back up what some of what he said in the Netflix series, in that certain things are leaked to the press. And on the other hand, if it is somebody that uh, is close to Harry and, it's, and Harry's got some hand in this being leaked to the press in the first place, then um, obviously that has the opposite effect. But either way, uh, one way or another, um, this is what's been reported and um, you may take a view, you may not take a view. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Please make sure you remember to like this video and subscribe. Help me to reach that goal of 1 million subscribers. And in the meantime, thank you for watching.